the name of this skin rash? That's erythema marginated. Fantastic. So go on then, recall as many of Joan's criteria as you can starting now. I don't know. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to never forget it if you tell me in the comments below what is the causative organism associated with rheumatic fever. This is a high yield mnemonic for remembering Joan's criteria. Just remember, Joan's Cafe Pal. Follow on on page 6 and if you want access to free pages then just comment the word sneak peek. Jones reminds you of the major criteria. J is for joint involvement. The first symptom is usually a painful migrating polyarthritis. Next is O, which sort of looks like a heartless, to remember myocarditis. N is for subcutaneous nodules. E is for erythema marginatum, which we're seeing here. And S is for the movement disorder Sidenum's chorea. Cafe Pal helps you to remember the minor criteria. Let's blast through them. C is for elevated CRP. A is for arthralgia. F is for fever. E is for elevated ESR. P is for a prolonged PR interval. A is for anamnesis or rheumatism, which is just a fancy word for past medical history. L is for leukocytosis, a high white cell count. Practice that and you'll never forget it. So tell me in the comments the organism associated with rheumatic fever. Oh, and there's a patient who's just come into the cath lab that I want you to see, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.